Hi friends, Hillary Marshall here with the Homes with Hill team at Remax Professionals of Newport based in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island, covering the Ocean State. We are here with Coastal Conversations and I am here with Jenna Hughes, who actually, she's a makeup artist and did my makeup for my wedding. Made me look like an absolute princess. <laughs> you literally did look like a princess though. Well, you did a good job. And also with everyone in my wedding too, you did a great job. So we were just chatting a little bit further about how it all comes down to planning, right? You can do certain things on your own. I can do my own makeup, but really, should I? No. <laughs> Everything from buying a home to doing your own makeup, we have the ins and outs as to why you should hire a professional. So Jenna, tell me a little bit about yourself. I am a makeup artist and I own Makeup by Jenna and Company. We service all over New England, but we also do photo shoots, video production, hair and makeup, and we kind of cater to couples that have more of modern, upscale vision for their wedding day. Mm -hmm. So we love to do like timeless hair and makeup yeah. because it's the wedding day. You're going to see these pictures forever, and what's better than timeless? Of course, the before and after that you did and the before and after that I looked at like your Instagram, social media and everything that you had was very much not cakey, right? It was like highlighting the person's normal attributes of everything, like the nice soft tones, but you just highlight that where it's beautiful, elegant. And I just remember um, it didn't feel so thick, right? And it's something that you just did very well. And it's makeup products that I would have never probably guessed what I did. You know, there's things that you are a professional, so you know certain angles, you know certain stuff that I would have never guessed. And that's why I'm so happy that you helped me during my wedding day, along with my hair. Like, nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tamara did a wonderful job. Yeah. Yeah. So what is the biggest challenge you see with brides or maybe let's just say family or like the wedding party? I think, and obviously this is just my personal preference on it all, is setting realistic expectations for yourself and the wedding day. I get a lot of photos for inspiration and a lot of times those photos won't really makes sense as to the look that they're telling me they want. Mm -hmm. So um, I've navigated towards taking care of that also. In the bridal prep guide that I send you, I request you know pictures that have the same skin tone, eye color, mm -hmm. hair yeah. color that of you because yeah. it's very hard to translate. Um, I'll use myself for example. If I brought a picture to a makeup artist and the woman had blonde hair, sparkling blue eyes, and I said, this is the makeup look I wanted, yeah. I think they would look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah. So it's really having realistic expectations and that would be the biggest challenge. Well, I see that too in the real estate world as well is the realistic yeah. expectations because a lot of people want certain things. They think it's so easy, right? They think, oh, I'm going to have this blue, uh, blue eyed blonde hair and that's my budget. That's my search. That's how it is. They think it's quick and dirty and that's it. But then you get into the nitty gritty and you're like, oh no, it's more than that. It's much more than that. Like, you know, finding a house or finding the perfect person or finding those skin tones is just surface to say, we've got so much more work to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. So for instance, maybe like I have this picture of a kitchen mm -hmm. and I bring it to you and I'm saying, I love this kitchen. I want a house with this kitchen. In your mind, is it like you're looking at the picture and saying, well, that is, you know, you probably are able to tell from a picture. Yeah. Those are like custom cabinets. Those are granite countertops. Those are like high-end chandeliers in the bathroom yeah. and in the kitchen. And they don't understand that these are all high-ticket items. That, yes, it looks beautiful, but are you prepared mm -hmm. to accept that these are the things and the costs associated with that well, look? 
It's definitely, it's the journey, right? It's all about the journey. It's the expectations setting out. It's the budget. Same thing, no matter what, is you could DIY everything, but you're going to get lost along the way, right? You know, you no matter what, if you DIY something or if you think, okay, I'm going to cut a cost here, at the end of the day, you lose because you think you know it all. And that's where having a professional who's done this, because even that kitchen, it's the expectation saying, well, how much does that kitchen in that house cost, right? If you're looking for turnkey, you got to be willing to pay the price. Yes. So I think that's the bigger picture is having a really good team on your side. Uh, myself, you, your team, you've got everything all ready to go because you're like, I know that we're going to help you in areas that you just don't even know. And I just remember you guys rolling up. Everything was set up so perfectly. And it was like eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I'm like, you had the most insane schedule. And I was like, I love a girl who schedules. I didn't, I had no capacity to do it anymore. And that was just really amazing because everything was sectioned out by like timing per person, just the whole nine yards. Yes. And it's when you finally give control over and say, okay, I'm just going to let the professional do what they do because that's what I'm paying them to yeah. do. It's just like you feel so much less stressed. Yeah. yeah. And I find that even, you know, with real estate, you would have people that were like, you're giving you these ideas, right? And then they're kind of like maybe battling with the thought that no, what Hillary's saying can't be true. Yeah, but then exactly. finally, when they finally accept that, okay, maybe my budget's not there mm -hmm. to get that, you know, amazing kitchen. And maybe if I just tone it down, yeah. like Hillary's telling me to, <laughs> I will be happy, yes. you know? So tell me, do you have like a favorite venue? I feel like you've gone to a lot of beautiful spaces and, so... you know, locations and everything. I mean, for me, my goal, 2021, we got engaged in March and got married in October. It was real quick. And we bought our house in August that same year. So I was zero to 60. But I feel as though the venue I picked is because they did as much as they did for me. I was like, all right, you you, you take the wheel here. I, I didn't have the capacity. But there's some amazing venue you, you go to and amazing places that you get to see. And yeah, there are. So I and my team and I are preferred vendors about six uh, venues in New England. Awesome. Now I don't like to point each one out because I don't want to, you know, yeah. wrinkle anybody's panties. But yeah. um, I won't name them specifically. Okay. But my favorite ones are hundred percent Castle Hill. Mm. Uh, I have a wedding there this in the uh, Chandler October. Those are like really? obviously and Rosecliff too. The Chandler. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Castle Hill is gorgeous. I have a friend's wedding coming up in October and I can't wait because it's stunning views. Um, just really magical spot. Yes. This and like the cloth tent. I'm just a sucker for a cloth <laughs> tent wedding. There's things that we love. Yes. It's just so New England. Like sheets. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, so I do get to work with couples that have really like amazing venues. But the funny thing is, most of the time, I'm actually not there. Okay. They're usually getting ready at a bridal suite at a hotel. Okay. You know, yeah. like you did. Yeah. And I was across the street and I was like, how can we make this so easy? Like, Which it was so convenient. <laughs> that was like the best. It's like literally walk across, across the street. And everyone stayed. I told all of my out of town family, go there. And then we just stayed at Diego's. I was like, how can I make it super easy for people? <laughs> I'm like, I don't even care as long as we're all together. Yeah. Like that was my thing. I was like, as long as everyone's together, I was like, I'm happy, you know? And then if the tables and all that stuff were put together for me and the food, I was like, great, awesome. I didn't care. <laughs> and don't you have photos at, I don't want to get political, the but yeah, yeah. It, that is no longer there. Is that correct? Yeah. But it was, yes, they just knocked it down. That was an impromptu because it started raining a little bit, which it's supposed to be good luck if it rains. Um, we've been married for almost three years now, which is crazy. 
I know. I literally have your picture on in my I call it my wall of fame oh. of brides in the studio. So I have like I have to, you know, add some more, but yeah. that's there. Oh. And I can't believe it's I can't years. believe it's been almost three years because as you look at the photo, which is beautiful, you can't tell because your look is timeless. Oh, you're so sweet. I love that. You can't <laughs> tell. It just looks like well, there's a gorgeous bride. It's not like you know, sometimes you have like you go into a salon and they have really outdated yeah. like yeah. I did the pictures. Ball gown. <laughs> I did the big ball gown and I was like, that's all I really cared about was big ball gown, everyone present, food's taken care of, great. Like you know, just kind of that stuff. Like I had good people around me. Everyone was in their thing. Like I knew that, especially twenty twenty one, people entrusted me so much in with their homes that I was like, I need to trust the people around me. That's what it came down to. I was like, I need to trust everyone around me too. So what has been probably the biggest challenge that you have seen in your industry or with maybe like a wedding day or someone, you know, I don't know. Hmm. Challenge. I would say it would be more last. There's a lot of like last minute Mm -hmm. inquiries this year that okay. I haven't there's always those I always get about like maybe five or yeah. six last minute bookings but it's been really really close for the inquiries like I just got an inquiry and it's for like the end of September <laughs> and I'm like oh my god how did that's this like, happen that's 30 days how did that that's happen? barely 30 days I'm like thinking. did I'm like, yeah did Something must have happened. There yeah. must have been a snafu somewhere. But a lot of that has happened this year, which I haven't seen a lot yeah. in the past. Like, yeah, there's a few months, which is still kind of late in the game yeah. in the industry. But a month, that's... Yeah. That's... Something happened. Yes, yeah, something happened. <laughs> <laughs> Report back. <Yeah. laughs> um, no, that's interesting because it's very similar where right now we went through, my industry went through a kind of an attack with the National Association of Realtors had a whole lawsuit. And this whole thing went under attack. We've adjusted how we do things. So now as a buyer, you have to sign a buyer agent agreement, which is almost like signing a listing agreement, right? So if you have a house, you sign a listing agreement. And before that, it'd be a lot of people doing the last minute things saying, oh, 123 Main Street popped up can you show me 123 Main Street this afternoon? And I went through that and it would be like, you know, running through hoops to get this one person I know uh, into 123 Main Street, but they weren't even prepared. They didn't have approval. I didn't know if they were committed to me, but now we have it where it's a contract. And I usually will do a certain amount of time to say, you know, if I'm gonna do this with you, let's see if this is a relationship and we work this out. So I love the fact that there's contracts now. Um, we're just working through it all, but same thing. You're like, if there's going to be a jump moving forward, then you know something happened. <laughs> You're like, what happened? Yeah. So. so I actually read all the emails that you send out. Oh, I love it. I love it because it has a little bit of like, uh, community, what's going on in the community, yeah. and then you got listings, and then yeah. you're always doing something um, fun. Yeah. Like, you have that running? No, not a, not anymore. That was my old team. Oh, okay, okay. Yep. All right. But, but um, I, I'm doing something like that next. We're going to do a beach cleanup. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it because I, I, I actually cannot stand plastic and we love it together. the fact that you're doing that. Yeah. It's just something that I, when I'm at the beach, I'll bring like an extra. You go, do you go down to Wellington? No. Okay. But I don't care where it is. Like I just love picking up. It, yeah. it sounds so weird, but I feel like I'm helping. I know. I, I, like I go helping. down to Wellington and it's something. So right at the end of Thames Street, that beach right there at the, at the strip, right before you go towards New York Yacht Club, that whole strip, I'll have my dogs play in the water there and I'll just be walking up and down the beach and I will find little bits of plastic and the next thing you know, I have a poop bag in my car and I start oh, throwing plastic. plastic into it. I'll start throwing toy cars. I've seen it at all. It's crazy. Yeah. So. 100% I'll do that. Yeah. 
we should do something together, maybe some sort of joint. You never know. That could be fun. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Sign me joint, up for joint the, effort. Yep. For the trash plastic picking up. Love it. Um, no, because we live here and you really realize the small things do matter to help our environment, help our ecosystem and microplastics. I mean, not to get into it, it's a thing. It is a thing. It's a thing. We've, We've seen, seen dolphins. dolphins. We've seen dolphins here. The fact that we even have microplastics is gross. Yeah. It's gross. It's gonna... We have so much plastic in this world that we have microplastic. Like, I know. The breakdown. It's just yeah. sad. Yeah. Well, is there anything else, just to get back on topic, is there anything else that you want to share with someone that before they book you or anything that you want to tell people, you know, what would you say as the biggest thing you talk about, like last minute, mm -hmm. not to do that? Is there a big tip that you want to tell someone? Yes. When you are looking for hair and makeup, mm -hmm. just... Be very mindful of what that type of person, how that person is, how their character is, okay. and make sure that your values and morals line up with theirs. Mm -hmm. Because it's not so much, yes, it's makeup, but you're going to be working with this hair and makeup service. Mm -hmm. And as you can attest to, we're there for hours yeah. and we're the first people there in the morning. Oh, eight o'clock till my wedding was 5 p.m. and you were there even till after? Yeah. And so be, just, just to have to be able to, am I going to be able to be with this person for that long and be able to be vulnerable and comfortable with things that could happen on the wedding day? Yeah. And, you know, like... Things happen. Um, tears get shed. Things get changed last minute. Yeah. Not on my watch, but <laughs> other, other uh, things happening. But just be... Uh, well, it started raining, you know, and I already was saying to you, I was like, I'm going to have you follow me to the venue for this reason. I know that something's going to happen. Mm -hmm. I buffered it into that. And we didn't really have a set location for our first look pictures, and that's why we ended up in the rotunda. Oh, okay. I thought that was planned. Mm -hmm. that See, was I would have been as well. <laughs> Again, like that wasn't your, you know. But we roll. I rolled with the punches, you yeah. know. And I mean, you trusted your photographer to be exactly. like, exactly. This is the spot. Yeah, exactly. And it was beautiful because even though I knew it was the rotunda, it was a open space that was all white. And it was a lot of natural light. And I got some of the best photos of like my dog. I'm literally crouched down and my dog's got his tongue like this halfway out. <laughs> and it's just one of those moments that even though it was so roll with the punches, it's still it's going to be OK. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Love yeah. So just be open minded of, you know, who you're working with. Yeah. It's not just about the makeup. Yeah. Um, look at the entire picture. Make sure that the looks that you like are looks that you can picture on yourself too. There's a lot of beautiful work out on Instagram, yeah. different types and levels of styles of makeup and hair, but just find something that you love, not your mom, not your sister, yeah. not anybody else but you because it's your wedding day. Well, and that goes for everything. It's no matter what, Whoever you trust as your professional, real estate or makeup, but either way, trust the people that they trust. They that we vetted the people in our corner. Yes. You know, everyone I know that I recommend is I've vetted them and I've done the due diligence to say, you know, these are the people that I know I trust, and I think these be good people for you as well. So trusting the vendors that your vendors trust. Yes. Very so yes. our people of people. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate your time with everything. This is great, little coastal conversations. And um, before we go, last thing is um, I had a question, and now I'm forgetting it. But last question would be is if it wasn't for makeup, what would you be doing? <laughs> well, this will sound like, well, Jenna, you kind of have to be like a billionaire to do that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I would just travel the world. Yeah. 
Yeah. I would travel the world. Hey, they've hacked it. They've hacked it. <laughs> You could just definitely, there's some ways that you can hack it and, you know, enjoy. But I think there's some beautiful places in this world and we live in a very amazing corner. I just came back from San Diego for a broker owner conference through Remax. It's a little stinky, but. <laughs> San Diego? I've never been. Parts. Um, La Jolla specifically. But, you know, you want, I always think of like all these amazing places and I keep coming back here. You know, I keep saying, why would I ever leave? Like, I love visiting other places, but why would I leave? I, I when I think of real estate in Newport, I think of you. Oh, so no. I literally, like, you are like Newport. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> you are Newport. Well, thank you again. I love this so much. I'm so happy you came to join us and thank share you your experience. And um, yeah, thank you so much for visiting us. And we will see you next episode.